Hey guys, the objectives for this video is going to be calculating the seismic weight and the base shear. So, just to recall the equation for, for base shear, KPZ CH of T1, SP on mu, times by the seismic weight, is from section 6.2.1, page 35. Okay, so I've just written it out in big writing, but there it is. So, the first step is finding the seismic weight, W subscript T. So the seismic weight is given as the sum of the dead loads plus psi C of the live loads on each floor. Okay, so we're summing up all the dead and live loads on each floor. That equation is taken from page 36 over there just to show you in case you want to see. So the first thing we're going to just say is psi C is uh, 0.3 because our building is non-storage. We said that in the question. So we can say psi C is 0.3. And then we're going to find the seismic weight on each floor. So the way we do this is we look at these two floors here. So level one and level two. The dead load is 1200 plus psi C, which is 0.3 of Q, which is 1000. So it's for each floor, it's 1200 plus 0.3 times 1000. There's two of those floors. So we put a two out the front. Then we have one, two, so, uh, one, two, three, four floors here of G500, Q400. So we go 500 plus 0.3 times 400, and we have four lots of those. Okay, so that this now is the sum of the dead and live loads on each floor. So if we work this out, 1200 plus 0.3 outside of 1000 times by two gives us 3000. And this one here is 500 plus 0.3 outside of 400 times by 4 gives us 2480. Adding that to the 3000 gives us 5480 kilonewtons. So that's the seismic weight. Step two is finding KPZ. So we know so far WT, KPZ we're finding now, 0 0.08. We found that in the previous video. Just to show you, KPZ.